I agreed to participate in the awareness campaign because I am so tired of being on this campus every day and having to plead my humanity, essentially, to other students. I feel like an outsider constantly, and I don't feel like at my own school I can solely focus on being a student. And it feels like I'm in another country, a European country, actually. But actually, like, I don't know. It, it feels like there's a lot of pressure on me to do well, which I don't necessarily mind, but it's just, it's hard. Being in class um, as the only black woman was really hard. It feels isolating. It feels horrible. It feels like there's a lot of pressure, a lot of weight. Um, it feels like I don't belong. It feels like I'm welcoming and hostile. Um, it's lonely, upsetting. I feel like I get here and you know, I'm one of three black students in my section and I'm told that that's impressive. And I get here and I'm told that I'm one of 11 black students in my class and that that's impressive. And I wasn't impressed. People at our school are a reflection of society and society still, unfortunately, people in society still suffer from thinking about other people along the lines of mental constructs from the colonial era. And even if it's not in a way that's obvious, like, I think this person is less intelligent because they have the skin color, there's a lot of underlying assumptions about other people because of what they look like. I feel my classmates' eyes on me, particularly for discussing something that brings race, and especially race and gender, um, into play. It's so far from being a safe space that it almost feels like staying at home would be better for my mental health, for myself, than being in class. Law school was, was unique for me because when you're in a class, you know, you're taking certain classes like crim law or con law and issues come up. And I've never felt the burden before to have to represent my community until I came to law school. And it's not a good feeling to have. It feels like a lot of pressure, for one, being like the one person from my neighborhood, which is a predominantly black neighborhood, that went to college and let alone law school. It's like I kind of have to prove myself for the whole black community, as well as represent the whole black community for the rest of the majority of the school that isn't black. Um, so it's just a constant burden of pressure and like <clears throat> constantly policing myself also um, just being aware of what I say and how it can be interpreted because I essentially am like the representation of the black community. Um, I had a teacher my first semester who had a lot of views that I didn't agree with especially when it came to gender issues and I started to feel like I was the only person who was really talking in class um, and speaking up about those issues and at one point in the semester I really felt like people just stopped listening to me because I kind of got written off as um, a little too aggressive a little too mouthy and I felt uh, I felt like me the fact that I was a black woman really really um, it played a lot in, into why people stopped listening to me um, and I felt like if there were maybe more black women in the class maybe just five of us um there could have people could have seen more of a, a variation in our responses to what was going on in class and what i felt like was sexism in the classroom you know maybe i could have not been the angry black woman but i maybe would have been the kind of moderately angry black woman and then we had a nice black woman then we had a what you know maybe if there were some more of us more variation i think it would have been just good for the classroom environment and good for me to, because I wouldn't have felt like I had to always be speaking up, feeling the need to speak up, but then also feeling the need to not want to speak up because I felt like people weren't listening to me. And I also felt like the institution and the, 
you know, the, the professor was uh, policing me in these ways to kind of keep me quiet. In, in, in terms of just, you know, being able to find <laughs> that, that confidence, um, to just speak out. Um, I think for one thing, you know, and, and whether or not my fellow classmates think it's quite annoying that I do this or not, I, to be honest with you, I really don't care. Um, I think that it's extremely important for um, members of a of, of an even more discreet minority community um, that doesn't have so much of a presence, uh, or in many ways, I mean, uh, I think American Muslims of my generation are, you know, some of the first ones to come into law school in such numbers. Um, and so, you know, I find that hesitancy in a lot of a lot of the a lot of my fellow fellow Muslim students who just don't want to be able, don't, don't don't even want to speak about some of the issues that are facing the community. Like I'm in a room of 80 people, just sitting by myself, and everywhere I look, no one can help me. No one can jump in. No one can at least acknowledge what I'm saying has any truth. You know, obviously, I mean, I think um, in terms of minority representation in the legal classroom setting or just campus in general, um, it's absolutely vital because obviously the law is something that's intimately involved with people's stories and with people's lives and how <clears throat> they're able to, um, you know, interact with one another. They're able to sort of um, be able to protect themselves from abuse of power. Um, and, you know, one thing that is lacking often uh, is the perspective of minority groups who have actually sort of lived the reality. I think if I could look around my classroom and see faces that I identified with, I wouldn't feel so alone. I wouldn't feel so afraid being there. I feel being a student of color on campus, I feel a great deal of responsibility, whether it's um, seeking support systems that other people don't have to seek out, um, whether it's being extremely involved in order to feel invested at a school that I go to. Um, it's a lot of energy that I expend that I feel like the average classmate doesn't have to do. Um, because they don't have to try and create space for themselves on campus or create space for future black students. Um, so that's, I feel like, is a big burden that I carry that so many of my peers don't have to worry about because they're not here to make space for future generations. They're here to get an education. They're here to make money in the future. They're here to for their own personal gain. When I'm here, constantly thinking about everyone else that I want to be able to occupy this space. I think oftentimes when you talk about diversity on campus, it turns into a political or ideological debate and you forget who it's really about. You forget the people. You forget what it's like on the ground and no one pays attention to the 33. It's just their ideology.